So I want to first say thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to try to do more vlog style stuff here upcoming. And this was one that I did a short on recently. And I thought I should do a little bit longer format because that short is me talking as fast as possible. If you don't know who Chase Kaminsky is, he's one of the walleye cheaters. We got weights and fish. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. He cheated by putting weights inside walleye in a tournament and it blew up. <laughs> It was worldwide. Got more views and than probably any fishing tournament because people were upset all over the country. I mean, I was going to swimming practice for Thomas and people were asking me about it on the pool deck. It was, it was the biggest thing that happened last year. Chase is back at it. I should say, those guys lost their boat. They spent 10 days, 10 days in jail, not prison. I know I said prison the first time and caused some grief over it. They went to jail and they paid $2,500 in fines and they had their fishing, their licenses, fishing licenses suspended for three years. I'll be honest, I don't think that's enough. But what do you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Well, well. he's back at it again. If you didn't know, he's back in the news. If you didn't know, you also had some, st between this between the, the walleye cheating, he also had uh, some issues with passing out counterfeit money allegedly, uh, which is a whole nother, we could do a whole nother video on that. He and his son were passing out hundred fake counterfeit $100 bills at a bowling alley and got in trouble for that. There's a court case over that. So while they were investigating and searching his house, and I'm reading this, the game wardens discovered five mounted white tail deers. So what? I know what you're thinking, so what? Well, the problem is, is he didn't have a license during the time to harvest or to kill a deer. And they were also tagged under a different person's name and or killed at night and out of season or without a proper license. So this guy not only stuffs fish, he kills deer, poaches illegally, and it's just sickening to me. It's sickening that he gets away with one thing and he didn't get away with it. He had to pay some fines and stuff. But should this guy ever be allowed outdoors in the outdoor realm for hunting or fishing or anything? I don't think he should. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tell you, Kaminsky was charged with two counts of unlawful killing or taking of big game. Three counts of a law unlawful taking of or possession of game or wildlife. Two counts of unlawful acts concerning licenses and one count of violating in tagging and reporting big game kills. Are we not punishing people hard enough? Honestly, are we not punishing people hard enough? If people think they can get away with this kind of stuff, that's a little slap on the wrist that they get $2,500 fine or whatever. Are we really helping the outdoors and people that really respect and do things right? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think anyone's a perfect person. I'm not a perfect person, you're not a perfect person, but we do, most people know the difference between right and wrong. I don't go fish and harvest fish without knowing that I need a license. When I go out west or I go up north, the first thing I do is make sure I have a license to fish that area. Those licenses help stocking and other programs that make fishing possible. When someone just goes out there and kills or fishes or do what, does whatever they want, they're slapping all of us in the face. They're saying, I don't give a shit about what you're doing or what should be done right or wrong. And in today's society, it's really disgraceful that while Chase gets a little slap on the wrist for 10 days, and I don't want, by the way, I don't want to spend 10 days in jail ever, and, or $2,500 or lose my boat, is that, was that really enough for three years fishing licenses? And these days we're seeing more and more people trying to get that gray area and try to finagle things that are on the verge of cheating, but not cheating. And where does it stop? Where does this end? Do we allow people to continuously do this? I do believe if you were ever caught cheating or poaching or anything that you should not be allowed to ever fish in a fishing tournament ever again. Not a Wednesday night fishing tournament, not a major fishing tournament. I think it should be illegal because if you're willing to do something to that extent in the little stuff, what are you going to do when it's the biggest stuff? And I do realize, and I'm not saying all anglers by any means or all hunters, when money comes into play, people will do some really drastic things to succeed because it's it's money on the line. But I want to know what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think. I hope you hit that like and subscribe button. If you like these kind of videos, hit it. I'm going to try to do more. Okay, that's it. Remember, take your kid fishing, get your fish on. 
I'll talk to you soon. Comment below. Cheers.